Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to learn subject algebra, standard ninth. Let's begin with third lesson polynomials. First, we see the meaning of polynomials. Poly means many, nomial means terms. Many terms together known as polynomials. Here few terms are they m plus 2m, p plus root 3, p plus 7, n minus 9. These all are algebraic expressions. Let's see what is mean by algebraic expression. An expression which is made up of variables and constant along with operations, it's known as algebraic expression. Now, we learn the definition of polynomial. In an algebraic expression, if the parts of the variables are whole numbers, then that algebraic expression is known as polynomial. Here, children, the variables power should be whole number. Then only that expression is called as polynomial. If the variable's power is negative or in the fraction, that expression is not called as polynomial. Now, we study about terms. Here, children, there are two terms. 5x and minus 3. 5x is a term. 5 is the coefficient. x is the variable. Now second term. Minus 3. Minus 3 is the constant. Always children, numbers are known as constant terms. Here are few examples of constant polynomials. 6 minus 7, 1 upon 2, 0, root 3, etc. are constant numbers. Can be called as constant polynomials. Now, we will study types of polynomials. There are total 6 types of polynomials. 3 are based on terms and 3 are based on degrees. Let's see types of polynomial based on terms. If one term is there, it known as monomial. If two terms are there, it's known as binomial. If three terms are there, it's known as trinomial. In the first example, 4x and 8x, it means it is a one term. In the second example, 2x plus 6, here two terms are there, so it's known as binomial. In third example, there are three terms, 2x square minus x minus 3. Here, three terms are there, so it's known as trinomial. Here, it's given more clearly. If one term, monomial, two terms, binomial, three terms, it's known as trinomial. Now, we are going to study types of polynomial based on degree. If degree is 0, it's known as constant polynomial. If degree is 1, then it's known as linear polynomial. If degree is 2, then it's known as quadratic polynomial. If degree is 3, it's known as cubic polynomial. Now, we begin with practice set 3.1. Question number 1. State whether the given algebraic expressions are polynomials. Justify. We have to find out whether the given expressions are polynomial or no. Children, how we will find out whether the given expression is polynomial or no? We have to see that children, the index should be whole number. If index is whole number, then that expression is a polynomial. If index is negative or it is in fraction, that expression is not called as polynomial. 
question number 1 y plus 1 upon y here children the y is in the denominator place if we take to numerator place the index get negative so 1 upon y equal to y minus 1 if index is negative then that expression is not called as polynomial therefore it is not a polynomial because here power of y is minus 1 which is not a whole number now question number 2 2 minus 5 root x the variable is under root so whenever children the variable is under root the degree is 1 upon 2 therefore 5 root x equal to 5x raised to 1 upon 2 here children the root is goes after equal to it convert into 1 upon 2 therefore it is not a polynomial because here power of the x is 1 upon 2 which is not a whole number question number 3 x square plus 7x plus 9 here the degree is 2 which is a whole number therefore this expression is known as polynomial therefore x square plus 7x plus 9 is a polynomial because the power of a variable is a whole number question number 4 do yourself now question number 5 Here ten is the ten is a constant polynomial and constant polynomial degree is zero. Therefore, ten is a constant polynomial. Because the power of the variable is zero. Now, question number two. Write the coefficient of m cube in each of the given polynomials. Here, children, in this question. we have to write the coefficient with m cube whatever with the m cube a number is there we have to write down question number 1 m cube here children with the m cube no coefficient is there if nothing is there we have to assume 1 so here the coefficient will be 1 therefore the coefficient of m cube is 1 now question number 2 minus 3 upon 2 plus m minus root 3 m cube here children with the m cube root 3 the coefficient is there so here what is the coefficient children what we will write root 3 the coefficient of m cube in the given polynomial is root 3 now question number 3 minus 2 upon 3 m cube minus 5 m square plus 7 m minus 1 here children with m cube what is the coefficient minus 2 upon 3 the coefficient of m cube in the given 
polynomial is minus 2 upon 3. Before starting question number 3, let's see what is the degree of a polynomial. A polynomial's degree is the highest or the greatest power of a variable in a polynomial equation. It means children, the highest index is known as degree of that polynomial. Here, x square plus x cube, which is the greatest index is there? 3. So, 3 is the degree of that polynomial. Let's take another example. 3x raised to 8 plus 4x raised to 3 plus 9x plus 1. Here children with the first term index is 8. With the second term index is 3. With the third term index is 1. So which is the greatest index children? 8. So 8 is the degree of this polynomial. Now, question number 3. Write the polynomial in x using the given information. Here children, in this question, we have to write the polynomial by using x. Question number 1. Monomial having degree 7. Here children, we have to write only one term. The degree should be 7. So, answer will be x raised to 7. Question number 2. Binomial having degree 35. Here children we have to write two terms because binomial means two terms. Answer will be children x raised to 35 minus x raised to 7. Now question number 3rd. Trinomial having degree 8. Here children we have to write three terms because here it is given trinomial. So, answer will be children 2x raised to 3 minus 5x raised to 8 plus 7. Which is the greatest index? Index is 8. It means degree is 8 children. Now, question number 4. Write the degree of the given polynomials. Question number 1. Root 5. Root 5 is a constant polynomial children. The degree is always 0. So the answer. The degree of the given polynomial is 0 because root 5 is a constant term. Now question number 2. X raised to 0. Here what is the degree children? 0. So the answer will be the degree of the given polynomial is 0. Question number third. x raised to 2. Here children, what is the degree? 2. So answer, the degree of the given polynomial is 2. Now, Question number 4. Root 2 m raised to 10 minus 7. Here children, what is the degree of this polynomial? Yes, the degree is 10. So answer will be the degree of the given polynomial is 10. Question number 5, 6 and 8. Do yourself children. Now, question number 7. X, Y, Z plus xy minus z. Here in this question, index is not given. But power of x is 1, y power is 1 and z power is 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1, you get children index 3. With the second term, x raised to 1 and y raised to 1. So 1 plus 1, you get 2. And with the third term, index is 1. So, which is the greatest one? 3, 2 or 1? So, 3 is the greatest children. So, 3 is the degree of this polynomial. 
Thanks dear students. Have a nice day.